United States Marine Corps retired gunnery sergeant Jesse Jane Duff now joins us. She is from Concerned Veterans for America, and she is definitely concerned, as we all are, upon hearing about Veterans Affairs official Sharon Hellman is being accused of creating a fake waiting list of veterans who never got care from the VA and allegedly to get a government bonus. As a result, 1,600 sick veterans were waiting for months to see a physician and 40 died. What's happening here, Jesse? Hey, good afternoon. Thank good. you so much for having me. Great well, this you. is just pretty much the same business as usual with the Veterans Administration, I hate to say. We've seen systemic failures across the nation on various VA medical facilities and even with the veterans' backlog for those veterans who've been waiting to even get their benefits. So I just was really disgusted to see, the, you know, 40 veterans dead when we've had so many, so many indicators that the system is flawed, highly flawed, because what they're doing is they're grading these officials on their appointment backlogs or the backlogs in veterans trying to get claims. So what are these officials learning how to do? Hide their numbers instead of the results. They should be graded on results, like how many veterans got claims, how many got their care versus Oh, what, how many are in your backlog? And you know what they do? They're hiding it. That's what it boils down to. Sharon Hellman had obviously committed a, a, an egregious, egregious uh, offense to all veterans by allowing this hidden appointment list to happen. And this is, so I'll explain to your listeners, there's approximately 1,600 sick veterans that are in this waiting list that's hidden trying to get appointments to be seen. So what the VA is doing out in Phoenix, they're taking pretty much like a, a veteran would come in, they, they type out the appointment on a screen, they take a screenshot of it, but not save it. So then they print off the screenshot, take it upstairs, and they have this list, but there's no record in the database of the actual appointment. So meanwhile, Washington, D.C. is looking at this Phoenix facility and thinking, wow, they're getting all their veterans in on time, they're getting all their veterans' uh, care done, uh, they're accurate and timely. Well, what they're not seeing is the 1,600 sick veterans that were waiting. So, but this Sharon Hellman goes back a little bit further. She had been in Seattle, Washington, and she was part of, she basically had made fraudulent claims about veteran suicide. There, she in 2009? Had adjusted, Is that a 2009 incident? Yes, exactly, up in okay. Seattle. And she had claimed that only nine veterans had committed suicide and a 32 attempted, when actually it pretty much was significantly higher. So she lied basically lied so that they could make their numbers look better. And instead of firing her, what do they do? They move her up, not out. She went to Illinois for a brief period of time, and then she applies for the position, I assume, over in Phoenix. Somehow she becomes the director of the Phoenix Hospital, even though she has this egregious history of manipulation and dishonesty. But you know what? She's not the first VA official to do this. I have constant and long list of many cases of this happening throughout the nation. What can we do? President Obama responded yesterday with hey, raising funds, Inspector General looking into it, investigation. So is funding the issue? Is no, the bureaucracy? No, what? It, it, Jesse you Jane Duff, what would you do if you had the ability to go in and and reform the system? Oh, uh, goodness. You know, yeah. where do I begin? First, I'd hold these executives accountable. You know, the president is, you know, basically bragging in his opportunity to discuss this, talking about how under his administration they have provided more funding to the VA, and they've done all, yes, the VA does get a lot of money. In fact, that's not the reason they're having these problems. They get on, collectively, the Veterans Administration has over $160 billion. That's a big old fat B. They have the second largest budget next to the Department of Defense. So money is not the problem. They even have enough staff. They have over 300,000 employees. What their problem is, is the 450 senior executive service people, we call them SES employees, have no accountability. What these men and women are doing is basically just keeping themselves above water looking good. So up there in Ohio, the Legionnaire's disease, this is a bacteria that's in the water. They hit it. 700 veterans got sick. Go down to Dorn Medical Facility in South Carolina. There were five veterans that couldn't get their appointments, and they died due to mismanagement. 
Uh, executives have gotten bonuses. One received bonuses over of $80,000 no, $80, in a period of four years. And meanwhile, four deaths were associated with mismanagement at his VA medical facility. I mean, this goes on and on. And in Los Angeles, records were being deleted prior to April 2007. And there's a recording out by the Daily Caller. Your listeners can look it up on the Internet where a young man saying, what do I do? These appointments are from 2001 and 2002. These people were trying to get seen. The senior executive says, delete them. They've already gotten their care elsewhere. They've gotten their surgeries. They've moved or they've died. It's ridiculous. That's what she said. It's ridiculous or they've died. It's happened in Dallas where there were multiple uh, appointments being canceled or deleted because what these executives are trying to be, what their idea of accountability is, not having a backlog in appointments. They've got it backwards. Their accountability should be with the care of the veterans. Regardless of your back, backlog, keep your backlog. Scream to Secretary Shinseki that you need more help, need more doctors, need more nurses. But don't get rid of the backlog so that it can look like your operation is running smoothly. So what can we do? Yeah. We've got to get the VA Management Accountability Act. It's Senate Bill 2013. It's easy to remember because it's the same year that we're, uh, just last year, 2013. And mm -hmm. then there's a House Resolution Bill also out that uh, Congressman Miller has put forward uh, in Florida and Senator Marco Rubio has put forward the Senate bill. And these bills need to pass. It will give Secretary Shinseki the authority to fire these executives who are not managing or treating veterans with the dignity that they deserve. And yes, they can appeal. They still have the uh, process of being able to appeal any type of uh, reprimand, but they can be removed. Instead of being moved up, they can be moved out. The VA has held none of their executives accountable at the peak of their backlogs for getting benefits to the veterans. Yes. In 2012, there's only one SES employee who received less than a satisfactory performance. Just one. Now, come on. That's, a, that's just appalling. VA Management Accountability Act of 2014, Representative Jeff oh, 2013. Miller. 2013. 2013, pardon me. Yes. Uh, well, uh, they Jeff, can go to Jeff our website. Miller. Yes, yeah, go, go ahead. to our website, uh, vaaccountability.org. Vaaccountability.org. I will post it up on the Facebook. America. I will post it up on the Facebook for, for access to it. Thank you very much. You know you're having a busy day. Appreciate you getting us in. You take care. Crane Durham's "Nothing But Truth" returns with Lada Mo, an economic discussion. Afr.